apiza tanpeni kenya machonu huru kenyata wuloi waka wacho ni penyo wacho sere mechi wumenda ni apise kalawara gichike maturka kakata nyamburu ko mawa winjo bedni ichi wunaja tende penyo machon pok uchi unyaka ni wetelo mawa wache gija wache apiza tanpeni machon kanze dena report makwede weche moko mawa wache gija wache lo penyo wacho Isaac Moura mawa wache kone sere kalo sechi wapisi mantire gi apis gi apisa iye gino mawa wacho ni ok en adiri Kalo regi report mano gol gija wache lo pinyo wacho Isaac Moura. Tarikwa deko da chiel duwe mara beach higane. Jawache ya pisa tani pinyo machon kanze dena. Okwede weche moko mano liye kigi mwaura ni uhuru kinyata. Ntire koda peace man kod gia pisa iye. Mauchi uge sirikal. Good afternoon. Kanze wacho ni mano en miriambo. Kalo regi pinyo wacho. Nechi uno uhuru gia peace manyari. Mano yergi mwe kibaki. Kalo regi duwe romare. Olaro ni chiku yene uhuru bende yero a pisi maohero. Tokata kamano. Pinyo wacho dagi chi umenda mara peace no. It is public knowledge. That State House has been very clear on the position of the office in Nyari as the only office that the president should use based on the fact that the office has been bought by government. The office in Nyari was selected by the former president, the late former president Mwai Kibaki, suitable for himself. So the statement that the former president enjoys a fully furnished and maintained office of his choice provided by government is incorrect. The offices that we use are currently on that side where you've just, on the other side where you're from. Those used to be actually servant quarters that were converted urgently so that the office can be able to be in use. Olero ni pinyo wacho ni code group uhuru kinyata maromo siling bilo na chiel mano unjo chulku mhigni ariyo mokalo kakata jotija pisno bende poko yudo sachike. We would also like to distance ourselves from budget estimates tabled in parliament. Our position is that we had no input on the budget estimates that informed the allocation of 450 million shillings that Treasury projects to allocate the office of the third retired president in the coming year of 2025-2026. The lack of access to our rightful budget allocation has forced the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, to run the office from his pocket, paying for all the bills the office incurs. Kanze wachone nyamburu kumane Uhuru wa Yago Kasarani, ekinde chiwotelo, ema poden godo, kende opinyo wacho poko mio apisa nyamburu kumanyen, kalo uregi chike mapachuka, maduwa romondo mechiu na jata npinyi mausa rutaya, geche areyo maeno uono yero, maunjo lokne bang higniadik ka higniadik. The late president Daniel Arap Moy and the late president Mwai Kibaki were allocated and maintained more than double the number of vehicles that have been allocated to the third retired president. The fewer cards were given, however, they were cancelled and blocked by State House since March 2023. <laughs> Olero negisa ndi kubaru upene sirikal to ungedu wako mora mora magisa yudo. The office still awaits the confirmation and communication on why they blatantly refuse to renew contracts of two professional staff members. The administrator, Mr. George Karioki, and Mrs. Kanze Dena Mararo, who is the director of communication. There is also the issue of unceremonious withdrawal and intimidation of staff via phone calls at midnight. Jorit mama ngina kenyata machiku ye nebedo godo kakamin ojetan pin machon. Bende neo mae higa mokalo duwe marabirio. Kanyaka jure mnyamburuko mage bende neo mae kato bedo ni sirikalo sebedo kaliko ni jotijego nodu oke. In her capacity as a former first lady and surviving spouse of the late president Jomo Kenyata is entitled to benefits amounting to 50% of her husband's pension. The three Range Rovers that Her Excellency Mamangina Kenyatta has in her possession were allocated to her by the late President Daniel Arap Moy and the late President Mwai Kibaki during their respective tenures and replaced accordingly after every three years, that is. Now, clearly, the government spokesperson said that they gave her the cars, but clearly the government of the day has not provided her with any vehicles. In fact, we would like to clarify that on the 18th of July, 2023, at 7 p.m., all her drivers and security detail allocated to her were withdrawn from their residences via phone. Katakamano, Osara maja tenpin machono to sebede ukao yudo kachel gyo kumba marthie tekinde machen roma kapise to korochung ni kechreem marumenda. Mr. Bowra indicated that the former president Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta received a lump sum payment of 48 million shillings 
or 48 million shillings as gratuity. I would like to confirm that that is correct, that he did receive the lump sum, but I also want to emphasize that gratuity is an entitlement accorded to every public officer on the expiry of service or what their contract is done. The former president is receiving his personal monthly allowances paid by the pension fund that is domiciled at Treasury, and he also has medical cover. Budget. Kwa auditor general mwendo mirangi ya wachane, kaoseo kido masirikal osebedo kanyiso.